everyone, please give a warm welcome to our first stand-up comic of the evening, Mr. Hayden Hartrick. Hello. Hi. Uh, so, you know, jokes, right? Uh, no, uh, so a little while ago, uh, I was on Tinder because I was at a point in my life where I was lonely and desperate, as is everybody on Tinder. And, you know, it was, it was a really humbling time for me because I, I thought I had done everything right. I had a witty bio. I had music that, that said I had taste. I had a picture of my face photoshopped on Christian Bale from The Machinist, all, all bony and skinny, you know, because somebody <laughs> told me that's what girls liked. But for some reason, I, I started using it. And within the first 48 hours, I had scrolled to the point where Tinder told me like, look, dude, there's nobody left in your area. You have scrolled through <laughs> everybody. And I still had zero matches. <laughs> and it stayed that way for two weeks. So, you know, I gave up and it made me realize, and it, it's just, Fuck, my chair fell. Oh, <laughs> momentum is ruined. <laughs> so if you can't tell from the everything about me, I am a virgin. And... <laughs> I think my dad understands this because he waited until I was 18 to give me a sex talk. <laughs> and it was... A really interesting sex talk, to say the least. We were driving to Austin, I think, and he looked at me while we were driving and he said, now, son, I know you have a girlfriend now. Didn't last, by the way. And I know you guys might be doing stuff and, you know, your mother and I can't stop you, but there is one thing I want you to know. And he looked at me and he said, just remember this, no glove, no love. <laughs> so the first time I ever have sex my father's voice will be echoing in my head reminding me that for some reason I need a baseball glove to have sex I don't get it but I'm sure I'll figure it out in the moment <laughs> you know, speaking of being a virgin I play a game called Magic the Gathering it's a it's Woo. a tabletop card game. It's a whole Woo. lot of fun. If you haven't played it, you definitely would. It will tank your bank account. And I go to tournaments a lot. And, you know, I was at this tournament this one time, and I get my matchup, and I go and I sit down. And sitting across from me is this girl. She's probably like seven, six or seven years old, and her dad. And it's part of my brain. It's like, I start thinking, like, this is so wonderful to have one of my hobbies, this immensely fun game, bridge the generational gap and bring a father and a daughter closer together. But then there was the other part of my brain, the part that I listened to. So I stand up from that table. I grab my Bant control deck with all those busted Simic cards. You Magic the Gathering players know yeah. what I'm talking about. Am I right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I took the deck and I, I beat the shit out of the little girl so I could play a nice, calm game of Magic with her father. <laughs> Tournament is not the place for that. No, I, I know it's a little hard to tell, but, but uh, I'm a really tall guy. Whoa. <laughs> I'm a... Uh, I'm about six foot six, in fact, and, and that's enough that everybody notices that you're tall. And it's got its great things. Like, there are things I love about being tall, but there are also its downsides, you know? Like, I can lord my height over everybody I ever meet, but everybody else can see up my nose. And <laughs> people always ask you the same thing as they come up to you, and, and it's, like, it's like it's your whole personality. They're like, how tall are you? And I'm like, well, I guess I'm, I'm six six. And they're like, Oh my, that must be so nice. How's the weather up there? Ha ha ha. Ha <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what, do you play basketball or anything? And it's like, no, people, like, does this flab looks like it plays basketball? I'm a fucking film major. It's <laughs> not what I'm here for. Yeah, yeah. 
you know, I've, uh, in case you haven't noticed, I've started painting my nails recently. Um, Woo! Woo! Just because I, I really, really enjoy how it makes me feel. Um, it, it gives me a lot of self-confidence it, it, and, and I love it. And, you know, my very traditional family doesn't, you know? So, so I was at home a while ago and, you know, I'm, I'm living life. I'm, I'm driving with my grandpa and he just looks over at me and just plain as day, it just goes, you know, Hayden, those nails look really bad. And I'm like, well, yeah, of course they look bad. I haven't done them in like two weeks. They're all chipped and stuff. And he's like, no, no, no. They just look bad always. <laughs> I'm like, well, thank you for the criticism, I guess. And, and then he looks at me, he's like, you know, is that what your drama friends wear? Do all your drama friends wear nail polish? And it took me 24 hours to realize that was his way of asking if I <laughs> but you know it put a lot of, of the rest of my life into uh it, it really put a lot of stuff into perspective because it made me realize why there was such an intense debate five years ago over whether theater people should get married <laughs> <laughs> you know um something i realized recently is that that Nobody who watches The Bachelor ever started wanting to watch The Bachelor, right? Oh, I hear a TV show. That sounds fun. Never mind. Um, nobody who watches The Bachelor started wanting to watch The Bachelor. It's like the zombie apocalypse of television, right? No, you, you start and you start watching it. You're like, oh, I'm just going to watch it ironically. Just have fun with it. But, but then you're bit. And, and you start looking and you're like, uh oh, uh oh, I got a little bit of a bite. You know, you're checking Twitter. And, and before you know it, it's been a month and you are crying in your room <laughs> because Luke P and Hannah aren't going to have their happy ending together. <laughs> oh, you hear that? Everybody, everybody, we have, can I get some applause? We have officially reached the cum joke section of my stand-up <laughs> machine. Yeah. 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 Come, come, come. <laughs> I hate the term premature ejaculation. <laughs> I find it very offensive to me personally because I do a lot of work to make sure that all of my ejaculations are extremely mature. I only ever beat off at the bank or at the office or my loved one's funerals. And if you ask me, that's pretty damn mature. <laughs> you know, I can stand here and give jokes all day, but it's not really gonna do anything for, for anyone, right? It's not gonna get to the root of any deep down issues that I care about. And so I want to talk about one of those issues. And that issue is Brahms ice cream. <laughs> now, for those of you that don't know, Brahms is an ice cream food mix chain. It's like Dairy Queen, but somehow more hillbilly and redneck. <laughs> and I was there a few years ago. And, um, you know, I... I uh, I'm looking at the menu with, you know, only a few dollars in my pocket and this heavenly light pulls my eye to a sign that says bag of burgers. It says for $5.55, you can get five burgers. <laughs> and I was in love immediately. Love at first sight is real, and it was this for me. So I walk up, I slam my money on the counter. I say, give me that bag of burgers. And they say, okay. And I go and I sit down and I am like jittery. I'm like coked out. I'm like, all my muscles are flexing at the same time. I'm freaking out. All my friends are worried for my health. And, and then I hear it. I hear, I'm like, that's my number. So I stand up, I walk over, I walk over and I, I pick up, I, I walk over, I set down my seat. I say, I, I, I'm number 70, bus, uh, bibbity bop or whatever it was. And then they hand me a tray of five 
individually wrapped burgers. <laughs> now I don't get mad often. <laughs> there is one thing I hate, and that's a filthy fucking liar. They told me that they were going to give me a bag of burgers. It's right there in the name. It's called the bag of burgers. Why does it come in a goddamn bag? You can't just fucking, you can't just take stuff and not sell what you're going to sell me. You said I wanted a bag of burgers. I ordered a bag of burgers. I paid for the fucking bag. <laughs> laughing at me. No, stop laughing. This is serious. <laughs> this ruined my life for years. I contacted their customer service and they were like, oh, well, it's really just, an it's not just a fucking name. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, no, Seppi, he's, he's calling me. He's telling me I have to get off right now because he's trying to fucking protect big Brahms because they're paying him. So fine, all, all right. Me. Fuck you. I'm out. All right. Woo! Woo! Yeah. <laughs>